Good morning. Um, I'm doing a phylogeographer research update uh, for October 2024. Doing this in a video format because, uh, well, it's a good it's a good idea for me to do this anyway, so that uh, everyone can see what I'm doing and it's more interesting medium maybe to watch a video than reading a post. Usually my posts, I don't think humor comes across so much in posts and I keep it really dry. Um, but uh, uh, my keyboard doesn't work. So I wanted to write th at least three or four posts on my webpage today um, about various people who I've uh, helped uh, with their mail line research, um, looking at Mostly it's STR analysis, but uh, I can't type anything right now. A few of the keys are consistently not working and I need and I need to buy a new keyboard, but I can do a video at least and I can show the screenshots this, of, of um, um, STR match finder that helped me make some conclusions um, in, in predicting which <clears throat> which men these guys are close most closely related to. Oh, this is uh, a Lego tower. We call it my daughter calls it city tower. Uh, we build it every day. Every every day, she gets to pick which Lego is uh, we're gonna do, and she, this is like her favorite one. We build it like every day. Uh, uh, I wanted to show it because it's just so ugly. Uh, always looking at the same background behind me. Um, I need to have a better background. There's so many Legos right over there. If I, I need to figure out a way so that behind me you can see all these Legos, then I think uh, everyone will enjoy these videos a lot more. Me too. I'll feel better about making them. The sample I'm going to talk about first is uh, from a rare European haplogroup, or what I mean, it's a, it's a haplogroup that is rare in Europe. It's L, male line L. Uh, uh, this man traces his descent to Sicily. His uh, most recent, he's a passionate genealogist. Uh, his mo most distant known male line ancestor is Matteo de Arena, born out around 1540 in Piazza Armerina, Sicily. Let's go to the map. I want Piazza. P-I-A-Z-Z-A. -Z -Z -A. Give me Piazza. Did I happen to say... It's, uh, it's in the Free Municipal Consortium of Enna. It's kind of in the middle of Sicily. Uh, this man recently posted in the Haplogroup L Facebook group. Uh, he wrote, I tested 37 markers on family tree DNA, and the result was that I belong to the Haplogroup LM20, an extremely rare result, at least so far in Sicily, for the amount of tests performed. Uh, and then he said, can anybody help me? I, I don't have any matches. And he's interested to know, uh, who are his closest male line relatives and which is it possible to determine what's the exact line of L that his male line belongs to and how did they migrate to Sicily, which is where, where haplogroup L is otherwise very rare. So I offered to look at his STRs on STR match finder uh, to, to see if based on rare alleles he may have, if it, if it is possible to make a prediction who may his closest male line relatives be uh, on the basis of sharing some rare alleles, even if they don't show up within uh, Family Tree DNA's matching system, which generally restricts your matches to genealogical time frame if we're talking about uh, 37 STRs. Uh, anything lower than 37 STRs, you really have no way of knowing uh, precisely how closely related you are to them. You could be, they could be your cousin, you could have exact 12 t str match to your cousin or they could be someone that you're two or three or four thousand years distantly related to or even more uh so yeah i i, I think 37 strs is like the minimum that that you can get some useful information from so let's go to the video tape this is a screenshot of the output from str match finder so the the man i queried on is the first line uh and his rare alleles are indicated in shades of red. The darkest red is means that uh, among his closest STR matches, of, uh, less than 4% of all of them have this particular allele. If you have some uh, next closest male line relatives uh, who are in public uh, YSeq or Family Tree DNA projects, then generally 
you are going to share some rare alleles with them that will show up in shades of red and generally you should see these men they should bubble these matches should bubble to the top of this list this list is ranked by your genetic distance to each of these samples and typically your next closest relatives will have a much lower genetic distance to you than uh, men who are more distantly related to you but if your next closest relatives are actually very distantly related to you and they're only slightly more closely related to you than other men then uh then this genetic distance they're not guaranteed to bubble to the top they may be not even on the first page of results and in this case in arena's case he appears to be uh one of these now i'm going to read my the, my analysis that i just posted on the facebook group uh, I don't think the cluster of two men at the top are really your closest relatives because they're from a large Pontic Caucasus cluster and only by chance these two particular samples acquired one of your rare alleles. DYS 389 II is 18, which their common ancestor didn't have, according to Weifel. Okay, I'm going to show how you actually use SCR Match Finder now, very briefly. So I'm copy-pasting some samples from a public uh, FTDNA project. And then at the top, I'm going to select all of the YSeq public groups. And then you have to click Apply Filter. And then it will show some text here that they loaded. It takes a few seconds. Aha, uh -huh, 5,445 samples from YSeq. This is a laboratory in Berlin. And uh, I worked with Thomas Kron to make some improvements to str match finder uh, the originally str match finder was originally my it's my idea and i developed it myself but then i um thomas cron helped me make some improvements uh and uh supported so the further development of it and integration within yseek um okay now i can type query on this guy's id which i forgot what it is my keyboard broke but now i have a new keyboard my wife bought one but it sucks i don't know why maybe everyone who's used to using a laptop when they have to use a keyboard maybe they all suck or maybe just mine sucks okay i told you how did i know that this got these two guys from turkey that they're not really arena from sicily's next closest male line relative because if you click if you click the magnifying glass on any of the matches you then do a search a query on, on that samples strs and look at this this is a this is a very prolific look how many matches there are that only have only differ on a few uh, uh strs there's so many men from this group and just these two happen to have coincidentally this dys 389 ii minus i is 18. and uh if you go on wifel and you go to their haplogroup you can click info and then click on strs and it shows you that the ancestor of one of these haplogroups did not have this 18. only a few of them acquired this mutation uh, so back to the analysis that uh, I had posted on Facebook. Um, the his Arena from Sicily's um, top two matches in in the ranking in this in, in the STR match finder are likely not actually his next closest relatives. Uh, but now let's look at something that is uh, more promising. Uh, a more promising indicator of close relatedness is the more stable dys 437 allele it's the third uh, uh the third colored one from the left the first one that he has a different color it's the dys 392 it's very rare but i didn't find anyone else that had this uh and then yca2 his yca2 is, is a little bit rare and then his dys 437 it's a peach color it's a the allele is 15 and it's colored peach that means 12 to 20 percent of his uh of his closest matches have this and um and then so i wrote i had written uh dys 437 it, your dys 437 
of 15 may be more helpful for you to determine your possible subclade or find a match in the future if more people test. This is a more stable allele. For now, I found that a 2,100 year old subclade L. FT18894 is estimated to have acquired DYS437 uh, from 16 to 15, uh, like you have. If you have inherited this allele with these men, then you would split that subclade that started branching off 8,200 years ago. And I gave some links to the live version of the y full tree, which actually shows a new split in this branch. Uh, However, I also see that a man in a different branch of L also has this allele, DYS437 equals 15, and I put a link to that other branch of L. Um, this, may be, this allele may be found in other branches of L. I have not done an exhaustive check. Uh, I just did this for free. I just spent uh, some minutes of my time doing this to, to, to just show the community uh, what I my analytical abilities for uh, consultation purposes. So maybe somebody sees this and they say, oh, uh, Hunter knows how to uh, make predictions based on uh, STRs. Uh, and then I wrote, you, you could do a big Y or a, a whole genome sequence test to know for sure your exact branch. That's called, uh, WGS is an acronym, means whole genome sequencing. Uh, but there is also a lower cost option you could try in the meantime to confirm one of these possibilities. You could order a $19 SNP test at YSeq, the laboratory in Berlin. The SNP product, linked below, is confirmed by YFOL to be inherited by the older split of the first subclade that I linked. If you know that you're going to want to advance the research on your male and female lines the most, then it's the most cost effective to just order a WGS test and uh, not not order any single SNP products because more than likely the SNP any SNP that you would order will will come will will have a result from your WGS test, which should which attempts to test you for every SNP. All the, uh, but if you are like me and you're um, interested in many other people's samples, uh, but you don't have the money to upgrade every single one, and you you only want to you want to triage the samples that you're looking at, uh, and you only have the money to upgrade somebody if they're in a particular branch, uh, because that's your your branch of it, your haplogroup of interest, then then that's why uh, SNP testing is useful uh, because then you know either yes they're definitely um, positive for that line or no they're not uh, and uh, oh it's also use it's also useful if you're if you're testing your own sample but you're not sure that you uh, have the financial resources or interest to jump to uh, the most advanced test WGS test which costs $359 now at YSeq. So you might you might just feel like, okay, um, I'm interested to learn a little bit more. Maybe I will try to confirm that this haplogroup that uh, that has been predicted based on my STRs. Uh, I'll, I'm willing to spend $20 or $19. That's how much it costs to test a SNP at YC. Maybe you're interested to uh, just pay the smaller amount to confirm that. Uh, and then maybe later you make a decision whether or not you became more interested in, in who your closest male line ancestors, who your closest male line relatives are. And, um, and through, through analysis of, of which line you are, uh, and especially if there are ancient samples that have been found, you see them on the Weifel tree or, or on family tree DNA's tree, then you may, then you may um, learn some insight into who your ancient ancestors were, male line ancestors and female line ancestors. In that case, when your curiosity is piqued, then you, you'd want to advance the research uh, of your male and female line ancestors the most by ordering the WGS test, it's uh, as the most cost effective way. I think I'm going to conclude this update now, uh, although I, I also wanted to mention um, that a sample that uh, is J2B, but I thought that he could be J2BL283, and I ordered a, the J2B M12 panel 
at, at YSeq for him, it turned out that he is uh, not J2BL283. He's a rarer branch of J2B uh, called Z2453. And uh, based on his STRs, uh, uh, I knew that he would be J2B, and I thought he would be this line that I, my own line, J2BL283. He wasn't. He's from. He's also from Italy. Uh, traces his mail line to Ancona. Uh, I, I was going to include a little bit about about this sample, um, but I'm having some issues with uh, Active Presenter crashing. Um, and I'm just going to cut this video short and um, in a few days I will make another video about the update on uh, his rarer line of J2B um, that uh, is also found in Italy. And if you're on my Patreon and you're watching, thank you very much for supporting me and uh, feel free to send me a message about any kind of topic you may want me to briefly mention in uh, my next update. Um, it can be like my surname is this and I'm interested in other people from this area who may or may not have the surname and, and might have a, a specific haplogroup result. Uh, or it can be any other kind of topic. Uh, feel free, reach out to me, and uh, I'm going to start doing this uh, more regularly. And by the way, if you're watching this and you haven't done any kind of uh, Y DNA testing yet, or or maybe yeah, maybe you did an autosomal DNA test like uh, from Ancestry DNA or 23andMe, uh, My Heritage, and maybe and maybe you have an autosomal test result and you uploaded it to Clade Finder and then you you got uh, a result for a. Uh, uh, your your male line haplogroup, but it's not a very specific result and maybe you're interested in doing some testing um, I offer some testing test and analysis packages uh, at YSeq where whereby uh, You can pay me a fee and then you will get a test at YSeq plus uh, type of analysis from me that is specified on my web page. I'll show you the link. I'll put the link in this um, YouTube description. Here's what it looks like. Plate finder support plus one SNP, $50 alpha beta STRs test. That's uh, equivalent to 37 STRs. Uh, An analysis package, $130. WGS test plus analysis package. Uh, depends on which coverage WGS test you order. Um, it's it's uh, sufficient to order the the cheapest one, the standard one, to advance your mainline research. But if uh, some people want higher coverage, then you can um, get that. Um, you can just email me hunterproven at gmail dot com, and uh, we can do that. Okay, thanks for watching. Till the next time.